Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. Yo, yo, yo. I'm Joel. <laughs> and I am Chuck. And today we are checking out Texas in July, False Divinity. Suffice to say, I am pumped to check this out. Extremely hyped. Chuck has seen, I believe the lead singer here is JT from Era. Okay. Who was originally with these guys. If I'm got, getting that lined up correctly, you guys can correct me in the comments. I have seen Era. Yes. Live. Yes, and they were good. Yes. And their Texas and July's last album was fantastic. One of my favorite metalcore albums. Don't know it. <laughs> Blood work. You definitely don't. Um, they actually they have a song called like Cyclops or something like that. It was the first metalcore song I ever heard. Okay. Ever. Okay. And I was like, there's no cleans. <laughs> Basically, I was like, what's happening? So, I was so, so innocent. You're saying you sounded like me? Basically. Yeah, I 100% did. Okay. I heard it. I was like, this is, what? And I had it in my playlist for a while. And then I lost my MP3 player. And there was like a good eight years that I went without having listening to it. And then when I re got into heavy shit, I was like, oh, that's one song. Something about Cyclops. Something. Oh, my God. Yeah. You just said MP3 player and made me feel old. <laughs> yes, sir. Sandisk. Well done. Good old Sandisk MP3 player. Well, without further ado, I've waited long enough. Let's jump into this son of a bitch. Let's do it.
I think I caught 12 words. <laughs> oh, what? Mostly at the beginning. It's Isn't it funny, though, when you listen to a song like this and you're like, oh, it's all screaming. But then you're like, that's a little more melodic right there. I can barely notice the difference, but damn, it's there. Like for the chorus, you know what I'm talking about? Bit, um, something I noticed with the with the chorus parts, yeah, is the instrumentals all slowed down. Mm-hmm. Turned very atmospheric. And it very much just said, "Hey, we're going to put the vocals in the forefront of this song." Oh, we're they definitely were. showcase the vocals, showcase the lyricism, and I have no idea what he said anyway. They never fucking left, basically. Uh, this this is great. I'm loving this. Um, I legitly was, like, trying to unravel some of what he was saying in the, the verses. And I was kind of giddy because I'm like, I love the sound, but I'm not catching all these l- lyrics, so I'm going to have all this shit to unpack later as I keep, continue to listen to the song. So I'm kind of, I, I like those every once in a while. It's like a little mental puzzle, you know? <laughs> mental You're puzzle. like, oh, there's so much rage and anger here. What's kind of pissed off? A, a false divinity? Yeah. And somebody's worshiping a false divinity, and they need to fucking stop. I'm sick of this shit. I don't know. That's Is that what you're translating from your 12 words? Yep. <laughs> from my 12 words, that's what I got. Oh, I love it. If I'm, I'm anywhere near it. That's the luckiest guess I've ever had. I'm stoked about this, man. <laughs> I like that breakdown, too. He almost had a little false breakdown to start when because I thought it was going to be a much heavier breakdown when he grabbed the camera. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, it was still heavy, but not. That just straight scream, that was just rage. Yeah. Just exiting. And you could just feel it. Fuck yeah, dude. Driving into your soul. Mm-hmm. And it made me want to hit somebody. So, I mean. Well, I'm glad you didn't do that, considering I'm the only one in the room. <laughs> I really enjoyed this, though. Uh, what do you got, bud? Like, rating-wise? Yeah. Okay. It's not as bad as what I, it, it used to be. Hey, do you do you see what I mean Lost. about, all right, so we did a death core song earlier uh-huh. today, okay? Do you see what I mean between that and this? how everything was kind of streamlined. Like, they were heavy, Mm -hmm. right? But your heavy vocals had like a, it wasn't like chaotic all over the place. Yeah. this is That's what I was talking about. This was like, okay, this is like a song, but they're just all screaming. But the rest of the song kind of feels like it all meshes and merges together. Yeah. And it's not like chaotic shit, just sounds. Just random shit. Yeah, and not all deathcore, to be clear, is like that. It's just a song we were having to listen to. I've noticed it with a few other deathcore songs where it's just like, I was like, I I don't is that the guitar playing? Because it's so distorted and like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? This is. It gets distorted and and that damn double bass drum. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. And and this sounds much more like metal, but you just have screaming nonstop. And the melodic parts are screaming, but melodic. Yeah. Like slow down. And don't get me wrong when I say that the double bass drum, I don't mean like, yeah, but when it's the entirety of a song. Oh, yeah. It drives me nuts. What was the band? Cattle Decapitation that you saw? Yes. Was that the band? Yes, I think so. And it was just, okay, is is, is this their entire identity? Is just, he could. He could hit the drum really fast. I'd have to rewatch. Like, your, I'm impressed. I'd but. have to rewatch your concerts with the crew episode where you were talking about that. But yeah, you were like the whole the whole show was just like yeah, it's just <laughs> constant. <laughs> yeah, but, this probably still isn't for you. But do you prefer the chaotic? Oh no, this is going to a playlist. I'm gonna give it a shot. Fuck it. Well, there you guys have it. Guys. At, at least it's got a melody. I, I'm not. We'll it's, see. Sound it has enough place. melody for you? Yeah. I, I really like how they slowed the instrumental down for the chorus line. The chorus is, that's what, yeah. And mm-hmm. that's what's making me want to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a long shot. Oh, it's so, a very long dude, shot. Don't get me wrong. Because the second this comes up while you're driving home, second it comes on after a country song. That'd be hilarious. You're going to be like, what the f- fuck was this from ADHD brain? Got a when little, did you put this here? Alan Jackson fades into... Texas in July. You're like, oh, this sounds patriotic. (laughs) (laughs) 
I don't know. Texas in July it just sounds hot. <laughs> Very hot. Um, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Sticky. Um, but that being said, I'm going to go with a 5.4 because it is not my style at all. But there were parts that I liked. So we're going we're gonna to run with it. Okay. All right. That, that's it for me. Your turn. <sighs> I'm going to go with a... Much higher rating. <laughs> I'm really just, I'm happy to hear him back. Mm-hmm. That it sounds changed, but not changed. And I really like that. So it doesn't sound like it's just the same old shit that they were doing, but at the same time, it sounds similar to what they were doing in the right ways. Um, I'm going to go 8.2 here, and it's going to go to playlist. Damn. Well, you can find this at the two boys heavy hitters list. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Down in the comment or the description down below, we have a playlist for, called Heavy Hitters where you can check out uh, anything we rated over. Both of us rated seven or higher. It goes in there. One of us rates something eight or higher. It goes in there. Okay, yep. If I rated it a two, he rated an eight. It's still in there. It doesn't matter. One of us loves it. It goes in. Yep. Anything else you want to add, bud? That's all I got. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to join our community and jam that like button. Until next time, y'all, peace out. Peace.